ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Geico Tower Sports Network for today's coverage of Rollins College Baseball. Today, it will be game two of this doubleheader of the Rollins Tars playing the uh, <laughs> Claflin University Panthers. I would like to join my new uh, guest or, or co-guy today, Michael Lynchworth. How are you doing, Michael? Good. How about you, Casey? Good to see you again. Yeah, it's good to be here, and uh, Jared, like we said, had to go to the uh, Orlando Solar Bears game, so Michael Oh, well, he's missing out. we got some beautiful weather here in Rollins today. Absolutely. I thought, we were talking about before the game information, the weather says gorgeous, and before it said couldn't be any better, which is absolutely fantastic. So the payoff pitch to Jesse Minter, and he struck him out, and there's going to be one down here in the first inning. Got on the outside pitch again. Jabari Brown, the second baseman, will come up. Jabari Brown went two for five last game. Hit one of the only RBIs. As Auerbach misses on the first pitch for ball one. Looking to bunt. And the 1-0. Tries to do it again. Did he hold back? Yes, he did. So the count will go two and zero. The two zero to Brown, and he hits this one down the left field line. That's going to be a fair ball as it hits the white line. And Jabari Brown all the way to second. He's in there just in time as the ball gets by Breen, but it's backed up by Fairbanks. And that'll be a one-out double for Jabari Brown. He's tried the back. It's not going to look like the... Not gonna let off and go uh this game start off early. Very unusual for him to give up a hit in the first inning. He's very strong through the first five innings, as he's shown this entire year. A very low 2.81 ERA, only giving up 17 hits. And the pitch, and the first pitch to Reginald Rogers is strike one. Tars improved to five and five after the win in game one of today. And the pitch. And now one's gonna be away. The count will go even one and one. doing a good job of keeping balls off the plate, but they left that one over, three and two, and uh, we got Reginald Rogers here, capitalized on that. Rogers hitless, like I mentioned last game, but taking advantage of that one, it sends it out of the ballpark. It sends it out of the ballpark. That's now Rashad Bibbins, who went two for five last game, will come to bat as our back starts him off with a strike. A very well hit ball in the inside corner. And the old just missed on the outside corner. The umpire switched, so Julio Morales will be behind played. As that one's foul back, and the count will go one and two. So Auerbach's done all the work by himself right now. Two outs for two strikeouts. He gave up the two run homer. 
to Rogers. And he's going to try to get out of this with minimal damage. As Clyde Parker will look at his first at bat of the day. Hitless and five on the year. He's still looking for his first collegiate hit as a freshman. And the one over from back. And he pops this one up. Russell going over to it. Dolan coming in. Who has it? Russell calls him off. And that'll end the inning. But Rogers hits a two-run blast. Gets Claflin on the...